to be joined by Nate Robertson as we continue to celebrate the 2006 AL championship team. How you doing, Nate? Everything all right? I'm, I'm back home, man. You look, you're back home indeed. You look Feel, great. Feels good to be back amongst you guys. Well, fill us in now. You're in Wichita. Woo! I uh, I hear. And, uh, yes. What's going on in Wichita these days? Well, uh, well, I'm living there. Well, that's, that's that. something. But you've got some baseball ties there too, right? <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, well, I'm, I'm part owner of an independent team there, and uh, having a lot of fun with that. Uh, we just uh, hired on Pete Rose Jr. this year as our manager, doing a great job. We're in first place, winning some ball games. We had Kevin Hooper, a former Tiger, with them, uh, but he's moved on to the uh, Padres organization. So we're doing some some fun stuff there. You a player owner? Or just an owner. Oh, you don't. Yeah, the plan. Did you see my first pitch? That was awful. <laughs> no, it wasn't I got awful. it there. I got it there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, so you're an owner. So do you go down and have discussions with your manager like most do. Uh, you know what? I mean, I uh, try to stay away from he, he invites me to the clubhouse all the time. But uh, yeah, let's uh, yeah, OK. Let's see this first pitch here. Lock it down. There it is. Lock it down, Nate. <laughs> Got him out of the crouch, so you know, <laughs> had some heat on it. At least you did bounce it like I did. <laughs> yeah, it strikes out swinging. One oh, gone. Oh boy, we're having fun. All right, well, Simo. let's think about 06. You mentioned coming back home, and, and for a long time this was your home, even in the off season, Nate. So I know you're really intimate with this community. But when you look back at 06, that was a situation where the team had really struggled to win games in, in the recent past and all of a sudden this 06 team burst onto the scene and, and what an experience that had. Yeah I mean it, I, I came here in 03 and, and it was I think it was the ninth straight losing season and we had we knew we had some talent and just was going to take some time um, and just came into a great organization got to come alongside guys like Gibby who was a I mean he was a great mentor to me even though you know he's one of those hitter guys you know but uh, yeah, yeah tell you how not to give up, give up the bombs. <laughs> but um, you know it just I felt like this was a, a you know kind of a family atmosphere um, from the standpoint of a baseball organization and, and then three years later won the World Series and just it just lifted this city up and it was just a special moment for all of us and we shared it together and, and uh, we'll never forget it for sure. What one moment though was the turning point in 2006 where you thought you know what this really is going to be the year. Well, we, I mean, as we brought in some veteran guys that mixed it with some of the younger talent, and we saw just a, a great, uh, I guess you'd call it chemistry coming together, and, and uh, we started winning some ball games, and, and we, we had this fiery manager, you know. He would, oh, I know. He makes a big difference. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Jimmy Leland was, uh, he was the glue to, to all of us. Um, I really, I mean, just he got all of us to play for, for each other, for him, the staff, the, the organization, and uh, you know, a World Series uh, birth uh, followed. You know, Nate, I remember going to New York late in the season uh, and, and doing a couple of radio interviews, and it always seemed like nobody gave the Tigers respect. They thought, yeah, you guys are having a nice little season, but, you know, it's, it's probably going to end in the first round against the Yankees, and all of a sudden you beat the Yankees, you beat the Athletics. Did you feel that there was a part of maybe the baseball community that didn't give you guys enough respect? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I remember. Um, after we had beaten the Yankees and I was doing a pre it was a you know the interview before my start in, in Oakland and I said you know here we are we're fielding questions about what went wrong with the Yankees and I just said I want to sit here and talk about what went right with the Tigers and uh, you know we had a lot of great things that happened and people started giving us that respect. Yeah we're watching some footage right here it gets pretty good outs. I mean, is that uh I mean, what was the difference that you felt in the playoffs than you did like in the normal? I mean, it's your first time, so. Yeah, it was just, uh, you know, the, the electricity and just trying to actually just trying to soak in the moment, uh, stepping off the mound and realizing what we were doing. Um, but, uh, you know, in the end, just realizing it's another baseball game and we had to go out there and take care of business like we did all year. And, you know, unfortunately, we came up short, but what that season did for so many people, the stories that I'm hearing while we're here is just that just resurrected. Uh, the organization and it just really resurrected the spirit here uh, in Detroit. Going to the count on Bregman, you know, take a ball high one and two. We're chatting with Nate Robertson, who's part of the 06 celebration. You had game one of the CS, correct, against Oakland? Yes, I did. And uh, you pitched well. That had to be a big throw for you. Yeah, it was fun. You know, obviously, uh, I drew, I mean, I look back and um, I had. In the, you know, Chiming Wong, who was the Yankees ace, and against the, you know, in, in game one with the DS, and then in the LCS, I had Barry Zito, and right. then I got Chris Carpenter in the World Series. So nice. 
Thanks, Skip, for that. You know, those good draws. But we, yeah, we can't. We can't. But you held your own. Yeah, we held our, and we had a great run, man. I just, uh, the best team didn't win there. Just, you know, just some things didn't happen for us. We had to get some extra outs, and you can't do that in a World Series. Three balls, two strikes at Alex Bregman. The Tigers out in front, nine to three here. A 3 2 pitch. Now, what I remember uh, off the field was you were one of the few Tigers that stayed here and lived here in the off season and uh, all those winter workouts. I mean it, we made them fun but uh, it's a lot of hard work that goes into it. and then when you have to get to go to the playoffs in 2006 in the World Series it, it really it all pays off doesn't it. No absolutely and to have obviously the facility we had here to come and work out was uh, it was tremendous. Here's Cabrera in foul ground he'll squeeze it for the out stick around another half inning Nate. Absolutely. All right we'll be back with more with uh, Nate Roberts and Tigers lead this one nine to three.